let's take a look at number two wires and improper connections. So we're looking for any Romex VX wire that is spliced in between number two. So if you see a splice in between the two wires, you know that's inappropriate and it has to be taken out. And even if it's a very old Romex, such like this here, it doesn't have a route, it's an inappropriate connection and needs removed. So mainly when you're looking at a non-machine system, you're looking for any wire that's not non-machine. And the wire has to be the exact same stuff. The Nama tube has to look like all the other Nama tube that goes into it. This connection here, it looks old, looks similar, it has cloth tape. You might think that this is a good connection. But if we look closely here, the the wire tends to look like a white bar from MEX. So it's not exactly the same as Lama Tomb. And you can see that is a horrible connection. There's not enough wraps, there's no solder. This is a very bad connection. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Now what, what I did here is I saved a piece of Nama 2 wire that had a lot of splices in it. Just so we can take a look at it. So we took off the cloth tape and we have a rubber tape, which would be appropriate. So this is very old. And one might think that this is appropriate. But once we get it all apart, it's not. Another loose connection that couldn't possibly uh, have high resistance and create heat in the wire. That's why we have so many problems with Mama 2. Now this is all on one wire that I had. And this connection, cloth tape, it's obvious this is inappropriate. That's a piece of Romex wire that was put on there. Again, there's no, it just shouldn't have been put on there. There's no, there's no proper way to connect Romex to Lama 2. Placed them between the two nominal tubes. Okay, let's do one more. I believe this is the last one in this piece that I sent for us. Again, inappropriate. It even looks like they tried some kind of glue to hold that tight on there. But regardless, this is still a mad connection and a hazard. Now this connection, I see a little bit of solar there, but not good. Still not good. It's kind of embarrassing a little bit that there were so many improper connections in this little piece of diamond tube. No, I don't, I don't think this was a part of that piece that I saved. This is another wire. I don't know what's going on here. Again, this is why we have so many problems with Lama 2 wiring. Inappropriate connections. There's 
there's not enough wraps, there's no solder, there's no mechanical connection to reduce the resistance. I do know this one was not a part of the original wire. I believe all the other ones were. So I, I, I don't know what this connection is called. You'll see as soon as I get it apart. Cloth tape looks old. So it is very easily easy to make a mistake when you look at a piece of mama tube. And just because it's old doesn't mean it's appropriate. This is some kind of special J hook connection. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to do there. So, I couldn't find any appropriate connections, so I had to hunt on a mom and tube system that had never been touched. So here, there's a cloth tape. All the wires match each other. They're all in the same vintage. They look identical. We'll take out the cloth tape. No, I do not see the rubber tape on this connection. But the connection is appropriately made. It's solar. The There's enough wraps. The insulation was cut appropriately. So this is an original connection that was made in the Lama 2 wire. This is what you want to see. But it's easy to, you know, miss that. Here is the, another connection that you can see in the, the, the workmanship is, looks good. You can tell that was done by someone that installed Lama 2. So I mean, so that's my video on bad connections, inappropriate connections. We'll take a look at some more connections later on.